We have an urgent imperative to stand up for the human rights of women and girls around the world and here at home. Just last week, the administration announced that they will not provide asylum to survivors of domestic violence who seek refuge in the United States when their own countries fail to protect them. Meanwhile, what's happening to families at the border is horrific. Nursing infants being ripped away from their mothers, parents being told their toddlers are being taken to bathe or play only to realize hours later they aren't coming back. Children incarcerated in warehouses and according to one account, kept in cages. This is a moral and humanitarian crisis. Every one of us who's ever been a parent or a grandparent, an aunt, a big sister, any one of us who's ever held a child in our arms, every human being with a sense of compassion and decency should be outraged. You know, I warned about this during the debates and on the campaign trail that Trump's immigration policies would result in families being separated, parents being sent away from their children, people being rounded up and loaded into trains and buses. And now as we watch with broken hearts, that's exactly what's happening. And let's be very clear. This is not happening because of the, quote, Democrats' law, as the White House has claimed. Separating families is not mandated by law at all. That is an outright lie.